I am doing a uh, just a follow-up video on some of the questions I get in the comments in regards to my hornet's nests or in just nests in general, um, what I do with them. Um, some of the nests I keep, some of them I throw out um, for local wildlife to tear up and, and destroy. This is a bald-faced hornet's nest that I've kept. I had actually pulled this one right at the end of the season. The activity was already gone, so anything that was left inside this nest was um, solely from just either ones that didn't hatch all the way or ones that didn't get a chance to hatch because they were laid too late in the season. So um, so this is the actual nest. This is just a, an, a full season bald-faced hornet's nest, which is technically a yellow jacket. It's not necessarily a, uh, a hornet. There we go. All right, so what you're seeing in there are just the support structures that hold this layer of comb to this layer and so on. And up inside there, what you can't see is actually there's holes that go up through. So some of these combs wouldn't actually have um, larvae in them that would turn into adults. They would actually be holes that would be bored through to allow for adults to travel between the top of the comb down through and inside. Um, and then here, this is where it would be mounted to the top of a um, piece, you know, structure or a tree or something. This was actually on the side of a building. That's why it's flat here on one side and, uh, and then rounded out on this side. But uh, if you kind of look, look up inside of here, you can see there's little tunnels. And there's still fully grown adult hornets inside of this. I don't really want to tear it open because of... Uh, you know, just the continuity of it. I like to keep it intact. Um, all but this piece fell off just because it kind of dry rotted. But um, yeah, so they uh, so they have a they have a nice network to travel in between the nests. They don't actually have to climb in and out and go up inside or whatever. Um, I have here a bald faced hornet. This one was just sitting inside the top bit of this comb up in here, just sitting right on the edge. And uh, you kind of see, you can get it. This is the identification of the hornet or yellow jacket. Um, it's got that very distinct kind of white striping on its black body. I really wish I'd focus a little more. Let me see if I can focus this. It's a very cool. Very cool wasp. Anyhow, um, so that's the adult. That's an adult hornet that pretty much died at the end of the season, just a natural way of life. Um, then this is a, I guess you could call it a pupa. This is a partially developed hornet that I pulled out of one of the comb. And, uh, didn't get a chance to fully develop by the end of the season and just died inside the comb, actually underneath one of these white caps. Um, and then there's an even less developed pupa. Almost full develop. Um, so I get a lot of questions about what these white caps are. And so what happens is when the queen lays an egg inside of the comb, the adult hornet, we'll do a little, here we do a little demonstration. Um, so inside one of these combs is, uh, is the, uh, the larva. What happens is the adult hornet comes over and will start tending to the larva inside the comb. And so she's feeding it, feeding the, the newly developed larva full chunk food. So they go out and they, they're, they're carnivorous, so they go out and they kill other insects, chew them up bring back material for the larva to eat. So they feed the larva, and then once the larva eats, they will actually process and regurgitate a sugar water that feeds the adult. So the adult will go around when they're hungry and feed off of the fluid, the regurgitated fluid from the larva. So it's a give and take. So the question is, are the hornets and the yellow jackets super defensive of the nest itself for the sake of a social... Um, you know, social equality or whatever, or is it that they're defending their food, which is coming from the larva? It's a, it's an interesting thing to ponder. So what happens is as the, um, 
as the larvae develop, they get to a certain stage where they're, they're large enough and they're ready to turn um, to go through their transformation into an adult hornet. So what they do is they weave these caps. And let's see if I can zoom in a little bit on some of these caps. Um, it's like this one here. I put into it on the screen. This one here. Let me I try to focus on that. There it goes. So that, that cap right there, um, the larva will start to weave that a lot like a caterpillar will before going into um, their cocoon, as it were. And they'll develop inside of that. So after a certain period has passed, I think it's about two weeks, then they'll start to chew through this and they'll chew out their way out of the out of that um, that cocoon, as it were. And they will they will then be a, a com completely formed an adult hornet. So the first couple of days after they emerge from their their comb, they they then uh, they stay in the hive for about two days. They don't they don't fly right away. Their wings are still wet. Um, they dry them out and they kind of tend to the brood inside. And it, it, immediately after they um, emerge from the cocoon they start tending to the brood. So it's almost like they know exactly what to do. It's just, a, it's just a circle of life. So foragers that have been foraging come back and tend to the nest for the rest of their lives. And then the new, newly hatched adults will then become the ones who forage and go out, and which is the most dangerous job because they're going out amongst other predators and things. Um, but something really interesting, I'm going to see if this catches it on the, on the, on the camera. Um, since this has been dead for a while, there's still quite a bit of... Um, partially developed hornets and like inside these combs there's you see they're still sealed and it sounds like a maraca like i mean it just rattles see if we can hear it can you hear that so it's it's almost like a rattle there's there's still adults inside of here let's see if we can pop one open so you kind of see in there there's still there's still a uh, partially developed hornet in there So anyway, I just thought that I'd share that. It's um, one of the questions I get a lot of is about these nests and like what what actually happens to them after I um, after I uh, bring them back home. And for the most part, what I do is I I feed the larva that's still in the comb. I feed them to my chickens, and the, um, the adults get get killed in a bath of water. Um, the shop vac itself has um, about two gallons of water with about two drops of Dawn dish soap, and that kills the, the adults that I suck up in the vacuum. And the, um, so the larvae get eaten, the adults get killed. The nests themselves, I sit them outside overnight, and we have a local opossum and uh, skunk, and they drag off the nets. By the next morning, the nest is completely gone. So, circle of life. Um, this is the paper. This is what was wrapped around the nest. It gave it that conical shape. Um, Super interesting stuff. This paper um, is made directly by the wasps themselves. They go out, they chew on wood. Um, there's actually, like, European hornets, like the, the tree video that I did, um, those hornets specifically, there's a tree that they like, and, and I, I can't remember the name of it, but I'll, I'll go and research that. Um, but they, they specifically suss out that particular tree and chew on its bark to go back and make their, their paper for the nest. Um, bald-faced hornets, they kind of just chew on just about anything. I've seen them on fence posts. I've seen them on the sides of buildings that, that are made out of wood. My barn, for one. Um, they like to chew on the wood here. So but they, they come back after they chew on the wood. They, they make a pulp inside their mandible. And they regurgitate that pulp on the nest. And they make these single lines. So each one of these lines represents one forager that went out and chewed on a piece of wood. And then brought it back to the nest. And you see how expansive this piece of paper is. That's just one part of paper like that's not even a whole nest enough once they come back and they lay that they leave the nest again and they go and they find more building material or they go back to the same spot um, and then they literally just sit on there and and uh, and build these little tiny flat spots and this is like this is pretty thin I mean you can kind of see um, let me see if I can zoom in on it oh you can see it there I mean it's pretty thin it's like a sheet of paper but it's durable. I mean, it's if this were flapping in the wind, I mean, this has some this has some strength to it. Um, and they usually do it in layers. So as they build the nest, like the first bit would look like this. It's attached to the side of a building, and then the the conical paper around it would be pretty close to the sides of it. And then as the nest gets bigger, 
I don't know if they destroy the inside or if they just continue to build and it just, you know, they, they tear it out and redo it, but it um, eventually gets to be larger and larger and they just keep building the outsides in layers. And I think they tear down the insides and then keep building it out. I mean, that seems the only, only logical way they do it. So, um, so that's it for this, for this particular style. There's, um, I mean, there's so many different kinds around here. There's Eastern yellow jackets, Southern yellow jackets, bald faced hornet, yellow jacket. Um, and then there's, uh, there's, uh, European hornets, which are actually the, the Vespa crab row, which is from that hornet, um, tree video that I did. So anyhow, this is, this is the way these look and, um, and the process that it takes to go into building them and the, um, the life cycle of the hornet, which is pretty, pretty amazing. Um, anyhow, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. Um, I'm always bringing out new material on, uh, on wasps particularly. Um, and then that's the um, subcategories being bald-faced hornets, German yellow jackets, and the uh, Vespa crab row or the European hornet. So thanks for watching and please remember to uh, subscribe and uh, like and share. Thank you.